Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day here in Michigan. I'm super excited. About a year in the planning, and we are about to head out on an adventure. We're going to head to the Smoky Mountains Indian Boundary Waters for our second annual hiker extravaganza. Got everything loaded up. Just got to check the locks, air in the tires, get a little splash of fuel. Let's hit the road. Well, we're down here at Wilson's Market in Indiana, off 31. We picked up some mixed berry jam, some raspberry vinaigrette dressing. We always make a trip for that. And a quick roadside lunch. Good morning. Well, we made it down here. We're in Corbin, Kentucky. Rained from like 4 a.m. to, I don't know, it's like 9 o'clock now. It just quit raining, so we're grabbing ourselves a quick breakfast. We're going to hit the road. Looks like the bands of rain are still coming in the Indian, Indian Boundary area. So we'll see. Hopefully it lets up by noon, 1 o'clock or so. And that storm will push off to the east. But yeah, the hurricane's doing a number on a lot of flood watches, a lot of heavy rain coming into the area. So, we'll catch some breakfast and hit the road. big lot here all the way down to here it's supposed to be getting him in but we'll just see how he does on his own hey guys we made it down here we're at Indian Boundary Waters for the second annual hiker trailer camp out east so we got everything set up just had a quick meal we're gonna do an impromptu campfire at 7.30, kinda of get to know everybody. We got seven or eight people here so far. We'll see how many show up tonight. What are you doing? Well, that's a camping meal. <laughs> well, it's Friday morning before everybody gets in. We thought we'd take a quick walk around Indian Boundary Lake uh, itself. So it's about a 3.1, 5K, so we're gonna get going, get that out of the way this morning, and then look forward to seeing everybody tonight. So this time around we did where are you from so you can kind of see where all the different families are from very cool idea Wendy It was one of the hot spots. So they're next to each other? Or yeah, right next to each other. Yeah. It, it, it's okay. It depends on. So Philly cheese steak ingredients in a little taco boat. 
It looks delicious. And the other big thing is the awning. This is a very uh, budget friendly awning. It's a guana. <laughs> it's under 400 bucks with shipping. And, uh, wow. and you know, we used to mess and fiddle fart around with fly sheets and, <laughs> and rods and stuff. But, you know, this actually uh, worked out well. And uh, this was the tip from uh, Heike East last year about yeah. how to stop it. We were in a storm and we didn't do that a couple of weeks ago and we did lose one, uh, one pole, but uh, it stood up to everything. Another change from last year, I added brakes. I ha already had my wine box um, uh, slide here, but we added what we call the dishwasher. Oh, so this is <laughs> where all our dirty stuff goes until we take it out and, and wash it. But um, uh, we'd already put in the Dometic. This is a tight squeeze for anyone with a two foot deep, um, two foot deep galley. This is a real tight squeeze, but it's doable. This is the smallest Dometic. It's a 28 CX, I think it is. But very pleased with that. Put your uh, solar keep up with that freezer. Are you, uh, do you have any issues? Is Absolutely none. In fact, we're not hooked up. In fact, look at my extension lead. I think we've used it once. Yeah. This will fit three wolf packs across it. If you want to put wolf packs up there, most people just put firewood or whatever. Yep, then that's where all the electricals at. I got a 100 amp hour lithium battle born battery in there that'll run everything for like three days without having any problem. But I got the 100 amp or 100 watt mounted panel, and I carry a 200 watt foldable panel that I can put out in the sun. So I think everybody's seen this last time, but I've got the uh, mounted air conditioner. That is an option, but it has to be done when you order it because there's a lot of steel that goes into the roof. To... Is this is one of this is the uh, OBS. So you see, it's all freestanding. You don't have to put you don't have to put the pole. Don't have it installed yet. So the partner stove will go underneath this and then that will sit on top and this comes out and then there will be a divider here for, be for two wolf packs over here and then my portable table will slide in there ah congratulations <laughs> So, we're probably the newest hiker here. Yeah. It's five days old today. Oh my goodness. So, so, you know, Matt, or Wendy says, do you know yours very well? And I said, yeah, because I've watched Matt's videos for the past year. So, <laughs> a lot of it's the same as Matt's. It's a mid-range, um, although we have a different hitch. We have the... It's a Max, Max Coupler, yep. I will say that we like the... the the little um, felt boxes a lot for mm -hmm. up front. Oh, you got it. You don't have the, the circles. The circles up here. Like yours no. Oh, no, no, AC. No. No. no, 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 they're, they're not, not they're, they're not closed, closed front with they're circle. open. Yeah, yeah, we like the open. Oh, yeah, we like the open show. But they set up there really nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're real handy to, to, to remove. That's far. We're from Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. So we had the luxury of being 45 minutes from the factory. I think since last year we added the gooseneck lamp to the table so that we can cook in the dark when it's dark out. Um, we camp mostly in Indiana and some, and some of the campsites are pretty close together 
and uh, not much vegetation between them, and so we felt like we were cooking in our neighbor's mm. hip pocket. Yeah, because oh, we sure. were cooking, and they were over there with sure. the fire ring. You know? So you put they this up? I mean, there so was just not we, a lot it's of shower privacy. curtain. Sure, yep, absolutely. <laughs> and that gives some privacy. Um, it's got uh, the Miller and Trifold mattress on the inside. And you got that same stuff underneath that you have. You've got the ventilation for it underneath it. Hypervent. Uh, the, uh, there are two fans that are battery powered and or USB powered. And there's one available in the auction. Yeah. <laughs> um, that we just hooked to the cubbies up there and you can get breathed directly on your face. The reading we light. Have, we have heads down this way. Yeah, heads that the way. people that ever head right. down this way. The reading lights that are in there, I got off of Amazon. And we have some totes that we keep underneath the trailer for shoes at night in case it rains. Yeah, that's good. And they seal so they don't get wet. <laughs> yeah, that's good. they seal up so they don't get wet. But you don't want to. About 1,350 pounds. Uh, the tongue weight was about 125 pounds. It's got the bat wing on it. Uh, Highway Deluxe for just about a year. And uh, I come from a backpacking background. and So I basically just emptied out my backpack in it. And uh, I threw a little bit more stuff. Um, and uh, I've loved it. I I've loved it. So, uh, you know, if you, if you take a look at it, you'll see it's pretty Spartan. I, I don't know that many other people uh, outfit them like this or un-outfit them. The, uh, love this. You know, I always tell people I don't live out of the, don't live in the trailer. I live out of it. I the toolbox up front that's where I keep all my dirty stuff at. That's, I love that. 100-watt um, solar on it. And that's it. It's just a, a pretty vanilla um, example of a, a hiker trailer. So, you know, take a look at it. And, uh, you know, the, the weak link there with me and my confidence in towing it with the two group. But it, it tows like a dream. I don't even know it's there. We didn't do a lot of customization stuff, so there's not a lot of that's to show off. We tend to have a pretty minimalist. Uh, style. I come from a backpacking and from a camping background, so anything with a wire or a moving part makes me kind of nervous because I just see it as something that's going to fail when I need it. I just I mean, we have sleep. the big toolbox, which ah. we absolutely love. Mm -hmm. We have the, um, the portable uh, solar panels, which we also love. Having having electricity at all is like a ma major luxury for us, sure. yeah, so we're still kind of getting used to that. We added this oh, on the this outside. Is a... oh. Oh, my dad made that for us. Oh, wow, that's Rare cool. magnets. Just it just clamps right on there. Um, and this is great for, you know, a lot of, like I said, primitive camping, backcountry, dispersed camping, whatever. There's no picnic table. We have that in one of those it's little folding roll-up tables. Yeah. And keep stuff here. Plus, if I'm uh, curled in there because it's raining, because it always rains. It's you a can great just, shelf to put your drink on. Yeah, you can just open up, you can put your beard, close it up. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, we've got the front cubbies, um, which we keep electronics, phones, gadgets, um, toiletries, whatever else we need. Use those packing cubes. Somebody else mentioned them. They are fabulous. They fit right in there. You can cram it with all kinds of stuff, and it still stays organized, so it's not a big jumbled mess and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do not sit. Yeah, don't sit on no it. Seats. Yeah, but watch your fingers. Wow. And that's us. I mean, you can push on it. Eventually. Well, you could put the whole bar out here. We could. We also did the two foot deep galley in the back with the split split top shelf, so we have about 12 inches for extra stuff in the back. We can actually sleep five up here and two down here in a pinch. Those are really close with each other. Um, so up the bed upstairs is four inches bigger than a king. I had a box built. It didn't come from Hiker. Just kind of had it uh, built by a company out of Cartersville. It's got basically just shelves to carry stuff that we want to bring with us. We got the uh, the annex room. We got the max fan and the 12 volt package. 
and the, the third rack so that we could put we knew at some point we'd either want a roof a rooftop tent or maybe a cargo basket up there so it's called an arc mat it's basically just a fancy battery box it holds a 100 amp hour agm battery I had to really worry about putting electricity in it it'll last us pretty well with a fan and charging phones a couple lights uh, yeah. So that's where our beverages stay, and that's where our food stays. Uh, yesterday I had the, the tent, the annex, and the possibly set up in about 12 minutes. But I have to really be concentrating to do that. Uh, you know, I'll forget to put something in place. Yeah, and I'll put up one of those. Yeah. Yeah. If everything goes... We haven't done a whole lot extra with it. We've done a few odds and ends we've added. Um, this is one. So we got the Climate Right Prep, and we never felt a need to actually get the Climate Right. But I wanted to use these for ventilation because the side windows, especially on the non awning side, get some splash in the rain. And so I just got some 90 degree elbows, and uh, I put the, the mesh vent in here, but there's also some no netting that I nice. jammed in. So I don't get bugs. And when I've got the fan going, it's Fresh another air place coming in. where air gets pulled in. Nice. Um, I got the big toolbox, which has our battery in, and we use for just general towing storage. Um, little little add-on, little organization bit to hold the pieces that's fairly new and uh, so it, one thing you'll notice inside here with the 5 by 10 is that the interior cabinet layout is a little bit different than what everybody else has so we've got a shelf inside uh, that offers a lot of extra space oh wow, wow. yeah it's so The goal was to do that, but it the, there's so much curvature to it, it, it actually hits the roof of the truck. For a couple hours. As Ryan and Lindsay get Lindsay and little hey, Katie inside. Um, this is a 5x9 mid-range. Uh, we did the whatever the solar upgrade was. There's a battery in front. Um, I mean, it's pretty lived in after a week. Um, we threw a TV in back that we, it's just on a little RV mount so we can bring it outside. Like we actually had her sitting outside playing Animal Crossing the other night. Just to... There you go. Yeah, you can so. see the, the lesson learned with the untreated wood for the shelf. Oh, yeah, for, for the table. Oh, you yeah. Just do it the cheap way and uh, do it in. Same magnet. Right yeah, so yeah. the one thing, those who haven't done curtains, you buy those magnets. Oh. These, put some black out and, I mean, the black nice. was key in between the two fabric layers. Right. They won't fall off. No. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing, let's see, we, we added the walls this year. The uh, the pantry is so uh, this with little my pantry. Present. I'm excited. Your pantry. Right. This is by far. It's worked out really well. The sweetest thing. It folds down to like a collapsed, uh, mm -hmm. just a, just a flat board, pretty much. Yeah, we use it as a lot um, But yeah, it's it's Kentucky. it's a must for people who you know are pack rats like we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the the, tent, the uh, Cabela's tent was an add-on a couple of years ago when we first got it. We knew we'd be sleeping in here, so. Initially, we slept kind of in different directions, so we all fit in here. And as she grew, and as we all sweat more, we decided we need to kind of separate. So we got, we did the add-on pot tent, which has really worked out well this trip. It's comfortable. It's warm. Um, during the rain, we just put this up, and you know we were fine. Who sleeps in the cot tent? Uh, we've been trading off. Oh, okay, gotcha. I nice. think it's more she felt guilty. And, I know. did. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but you know what? I like my own space too. And sure. I'm not oh, touching yeah. anyone that way. So yeah. Yep. I don't mind. Yeah, so have a look. I mean, it's, yep. uh, it's a mess, but yep. it's all mess. The road tower. Standard galley in the back? Uh, standard galley. Uh, yeah, we didn't. 
Yeah, we do have a pop-up that you can Hi, how are you? Hey, honey. And as you guys do, we have that Me so we just have to stand here and check. Are you starting to take it with this one? Ah, uh, one quick photo. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last time I start charging after the second. We were setting up and we had a whole bunch of haha moments. We were setting up and the camera didn't take yeah. all that. Yeah, oh, that's and right. It on video. Yeah, yeah. That the video's running right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Clark and Ashley. Clark and Ashley, come on up. Everything's fair game. Yep. Everything's fair game. All right. All right. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah. Colin. Since you didn't put Allison's name in. Colin. Oh, name uh, in hers there. went in the fire, I remember. Yes. Yeah, I found hers first. So with six of the hiker trailer owners taking off on Sunday for their various destinations around the country, uh, four of us remained on Sunday to stay a few extra days and explore the area so this gave wendy and i plenty of time to go out and do some sightseeing check out the Cheraha skyway and also take a short drive over to bald river falls this fall was absolutely gorgeous it's right on the main road easy to get to and had stunning views the Cheraha skyway was a motorcycle's paradise twists and turns your top speed is probably 35 to 45 miles an hour. Basically follows the ridge line through the mountains with many of scenic overlooks and places to stop and hike, picnic lunch along the way, and just enjoy the beautiful weather that we had going this weekend. So Wendy and I took a, about a mile and a half hike up to Hooper Bald Overlook. It's all the military doing chopper flyovers, doing some drills, Stopping on the top of the balds, practicing. Had some scenic v overviews at the brushy overlook, as you see here in this picture. So the drive down was just a short little gravel road, maybe a mile down into the bottom of the ravine. And there's some beautiful little areas to camp down there by tent. So we went for a day trip. We're on, uh, let's see, we went to Sitco, Sitco Creek. It's just down from our campsite. Look at this beautiful little campsite here. It's walking only, it's national forest here in Tennessee. You got a little fire ring. We got a couple of uh, pit johns over here. And you got this beautiful view behind you of the uh, creek. You're basically camping on the creek. The only disadvantage is you couldn't get a small trailer down here. It would be a tent in only. So if you're willing to tent it, this is a gorgeous spot. Wanted to see if you'd fall. Did I get it on video? 
Today's meal is nachos done in the fry pan. Good, Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday the 21st. 22nd. Um, 22nd? No, it's not. It's 22nd. It is Tuesday the 22nd. Mm -hmm. We've had a few days to reflect on the event and everything that went on this weekend. What did you think? It was a lot of fun. It was always fun to meet like-minded campers that don't want to go glamping, want to get out in nature and just enjoy. Yep. Yeah, we had a really good turnout, guys, um, mm -hmm. amidst a pandemic. Yep. We had roughly 20 people that we were expecting, and we had around 10, so yep. about half the group, which we were pretty happy with. There was 10 trailers and a lot of modifications. Mm -hmm. We had some that just came for a couple hours driving through. Um, we had others that, that stayed beyond just the weekend. Yep. And we got to hang out with a couple extra days, which was a lot of fun. Yep, we got to meet new friends and to see some that we had met last year. So it's kind of fun to reconnect with those that we've met in the past. I think I have a pretty long list of modifications when we get home. No. Happens every trip. <laughs> yep, priority list. Yeah, so that'll be the next thing. Let's get home, start looking at the modification list and start eating away at it. But it's yep. just amazing how each trailer is so unique. And everybody comes together mm -hmm. with one thing in common. And uh, it was neat to meet all these different people from all different walks of life and backgrounds and and uh, hear their stories of camping and that kind of thing. And what got them to the point of camping with a hiker and where they had come from in the past. Yep. yep. And uh, Colin Ford, you're a mad genius. <laughs> these 3D printed hikers are pretty cool. Yes, they are. Um, We've had a lot of fun with them with photography, and uh, yeah, these things are really neat, these uh, little keychains. And uh, his trailer will be in the uh, upcoming video that we shoot, and um, it's it's pretty awesome. So yeah, it went from very simple to very complex. Yep. Probably not quite as complex as Don's from last year. <laughs> I don't know if that one can ever be beat. Yeah. Don did some awesome mods last year. Mm -hmm. So we're already looking at next year, HTC 3. Mm -hmm. um, we're toying around with some ideas. We're going to keep a secret right now where the secret location will be. But we're working on... we don't know yet. No, oh, we do know. <laughs> we have a lot of good ideas. So. Yes, we do. And we had a lot of input from the group this year on potential locations. Mm -hmm. So we're going to work on that. And as soon as we've got something nailed down and got some dates... Um, we will post it out. We'll put a video out. We'll also post it on the event page. Yep. Anything else? I'm just bummed we have to go back home. I know. It's kind of a bummer. It is pretty amazing to see your breath again. <sighs> pretty it's chilly. A chilly one. Yep. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, for supporting the channel. Um, thanks to all the hiker trailers that mm -hmm. came out yes. this weekend and made it, it so a fun. great event. Thanks for letting me shoot footage so that other hiker trailer potential buyers can see the footage and they can see what works for everybody and they can decide how they want to make their trailer unique. Mm -hmm. So with that, the acorns are raining around us because the cold weather is upon us. <laughs> and it's time to get out the hat. <laughs> it is that chilly. <laughs> so with that said, guys, like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. We'll see you next time. Make sure you get out and do some camping. camping.